Hi guys, this is Erica at Create Your Future. And today I wanted to share with you some of my tips that I use for manifesting. Uh, first of all, I want to remind you that this is your reality and you can create your own rules. These are just some of my, you know, my tips of things I use in my uh, personal life, but you can always create your own rules that work for you, that feel good to you. Um, I wrote down some notes for them, so I'm gonna be looking to the side, but uh, the first and most important uh, tip for, you know, for you guys and something that I use all the time is remember who you really are. Remember that you are the opera and power of your, of your life, the God of your reality, right? So as God, we don't have limits. We can have it all. So I think it's super important to really remember that we can have anything that we want. We just have to believe in ourselves, right? So remember you are the opera and power. You are the God of your reality. You can have it all. And I think it's having faith in yourself, right? Believe that you are really powerful and that you can have it all. Uh, the second tip that I have is that we need to remember that no one does anything to us. We are the cause of everything that has happened and will ever happen in our lives because we're constantly creating with our thoughts, with our assumptions. So knowing that no one does anything to me, right, it's easier to forgive the other person. For example, in a situation with an SP, I know that, for example, if my SP is rejecting me, I know that he's rejecting me because I created that, because he's really not doing anything to me. He's just reflecting back to me, maybe my self-concept of feeling that, I'm usually rejected by people or by, you know, my boyfriends, right? Or maybe it's uh, an assumption that is negative that I have about him. So it's, I think it's super important to remember that no one is doing anything to us, right? To get out of that victim mode. And, um, and know that we can change that situation around, right? So instead of oh like he's rejecting me why is, why is he always rejecting me right and being in question mode get out of that and say okay well if he's rejecting me i'm causing it somehow so the first thing that i do for example and when someone is rejecting you is okay check your self-concept right and start affirming from now on i am someone that is chosen and regarding my sp Instead of him rejecting me from now on, my SP is always choosing me. He's always prioritizing me. Um, I'm talking about something super important as well. Leave the past in the past, right? Um, the, the power is in the now moment and the past is gone. So only analyze that past and see, okay, well, if in the past I've manifested rejection from this person or other people, then from now on, right from now on that powerful now moment from now on i am someone that is always chosen and my sp is someone that is always choosing me and prioritizing me um and once again with you know no one does anything to me it's part of you know everyone is you pushed out right um another thing that i really use and has really helped me to stay on my mental diet is to to really believe that my SP is thinking what I say he's thinking. And, you know, knowing that he's, whatever I think about him, he's gonna think, right? Then I, I catch myself and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm not gonna think, for example, going to that rejection story again, I'm not gonna think, I'm not gonna think that he's rejecting me because I don't want him to think that, right? Because he's always thinking what I say he's thinking. So instead of thinking he's rejecting me, I have to change it. And I have to say, no, like my SP is always choosing me. My SP is always prioritizing me because he's thinking what I say he's thinking, right? I feel empowered and I also cancel that old story that is negative, knowing that he's always listening. <laughs> um, because your SP, like we've mentioned here before in the channel, he lives inside of you, right? Like he's, he's connected to, uh, you know, through your thoughts. 
because your thoughts create and he's just a reflection of you what you're thinking what you're assuming um so now talking about you know he's thinking what i say he's thinking that's when it's it's really really cool to have those inner conversations with them right like hear your sp telling you i love you so much i'm always choosing you you are my number one priority i'm so committed to you i'm so loyal to you instead of having those negative conversations that we sometimes have, like, why is he not calling me? Why is he rejecting me? Why is he not showing me that I'm important to him? So that's when we can have those inner conversations with them, right? Knowing that he's thinking what I say he's thinking, he lives inside of me, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, something else that also helps me is I see manifesting as a game. For example, for me to manifest a certain thing, I have to follow the rules for me to win the game. Um, some of those rules are only think about what you want. Only think about your SP in the way that you want him to show up for you or you want her to show up for you, right? For example, with the rejection story, um, I know that if I catch myself thinking, oh, like he's rejecting me, I have to uh, remind myself, no, like in order for me to win the game and for him to start showing me that he's choosing me, I have to only think about him and the way that I want him to show up, which is he chooses me, right? So I need to stay within the rules of my game, only think positive, only think about what you want. And I don't know why, but I think of this game, operation game, you know, like where like there's this human shape and you're supposed to put the organs inside of the, the human shape. And if you hit the edges, it goes eh, and makes like a buzzing sound. That's what I imagine. So if I notice that I'm having a negative thought, I'm like, eh, cancel. No, <laughs> that's not what I want. Think about your person in the way that you want him to show up, right? Oh, my SP loves me. My SP is always choosing me. My SP is always prioritizing me. Instead of me, oh, he's rejecting me, right? So I cancel it. I hear the uh, the buzzing sound. And then I go back to the rules of the game, which is only think about what you want. Focus on the now moment for, you know, in order for you to, to get what you want, to win the game. <laughs> um, and what else? Um, something else that also helps me a lot is I notice that uh, we sometimes have this bully, right, inside of us uh, telling us all the time, like, oh, like, he doesn't like you, he's rejecting you, you're so stupid, you're so ugly, you're so this, you're so that. We're like bullies to ourselves. So we have to change that. And Imagine that you have a best friend that knows about manifesting and when you hear that negative voice shut it down and say no like <laughs> Let that best friend that knows about manifesting do the talking Say no, no, no. like why are you thinking negative? No, no remember that you are the open power. You can have it all hey, No, get back within the rules of the game Only think about what you want right or hey, remember the power is in the now moment leave the past in the past so have that best friend that is telling you, you're doing great, you're amazing, you're a goddess, you're, you're so powerful, you're perfect, your SP loves you and he adores you, etc. Be that best friend that is there for you instead of being a bully to yourself, right? Which keeps you back on that positive mental diet. Uh, and what else? Also remember that the 3D, it's just the old story, right? Because a lot of us, we're humans and we react to the 3D. If we see something that we don't like, we react. And it's okay to react emotionally, but just don't don't react, react with your thoughts. So look at the 3D for what it is. The 3D is just a product of the old story. So what I like to do is I analyze that 3D and I say, okay, well, no one's doing anything to me. I'm the cause of everything, right? And if I'm seeing that, in the 3D I'm being rejected, then I have to, uh, you know, with, with that powerful now moment, I have to change my self-concept and also my assumptions about my person, right? So 
don't react to the 3D because sometimes we get caught up in the 3D, we keep reacting to the 3D and we get stuck in that 3D that we don't like. So we really have to tell a different story that maybe we have never experienced before in order for us to manifest that that 3D, you know, that, that story that we never had uh, experienced it in the 3D reality, right? Because if we keep telling the old story that we don't like, we're going to keep manifesting it. So let's tell a different story. And that's when we use our imagination, our affirmations, our inner conversations of that new story. And we persist in that new story until that hardens into facts, until we can experience it, experience it in the 3D reality. So yeah, I think that's all of my tips or some of them that I use for for manifesting to to help me stay you know focused on what i want and not on what i don't want uh i can do a recap so remember that you're god of your reality uh number two uh remember that no one does anything to you because everyone is you pushed out um remember that your sp or whoever it is that you want to manifest they're just thinking what you say they're thinking right and that's when we can have those inner conversations, right? Well, if I know that he's thinking what I say he's thinking, then I have these inner conversations with them that are wonderful, or I do my affirmations about them that are positive. Um, what else? Uh, having that BFF, right? That best friend that knows about manifesting instead of talking down to ourselves, being that bully. <laughs> and uh, what else? And that... Uh, remember that the 3D is really just the old story manifested. The the 3D, I, I see it like the present is really the past. Because I think what's more important and more powerful is whatever you're thinking, right? That 4D, 5D, however you want to call it, in the now moment. And that will eventually project out into the 3, 3D reality. So make sure that you're, you're thinking about what you want to experience in that near um, 3D, okay? Well, thanks again for listening uh, and please uh, like the video, uh, subscribe and comment. Thank you. Bye-bye.